LeBron to Russ, back to LeBron. Lakers take two games from the lowly Spurs, host the Pacers tonight. Hey. Little, little take for you. Ben yeah. Matherin, remember when he said he was yeah. better than LeBron? He's going to prove it little tonight. Little take for you. Yeah. Your the Lakers are better without LeBron take aged well for about three hours, and then he had the greatest game anyone in year 20 has ever had. Against literally the, against the Spurs, uh, it's, it's who are literally the trying team. to get Wenbanyama uh, like, against an play? NBA team who literally oh, is an okay. NBA. Team. Greg Popovich going to suit up out there to be the play center. Uh, let's check in on how the Broncos are doing. Not great. Mike Purcell giving they're Russ also trying to get a Wenbanyama. friendly reminder to score some points, and he did, but not enough. Uh, Broncos put up a measly 10 points and a loss. To Sam Darnold. Here's Purcell and Russ post game. Frustration. We want to we want to spark on something. It, 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 we we all are in this together. Period. So you know that, that's the quarterback of our offense. They're about to take the field. Obviously, we let up a touchdown, so uh, we weren't doing our job. But got to get a spark somewhere. So they're they're about to take the field. So that's all it was. He was pissed off. He was just said, "We got we got to f and go." You know. And uh, I agree, you know. So me and him on the same page. We, you know, there's no, uh, there's no uh, animosity there at all. We're on the same page. We, we, we got to win. You know, we got to come out here and have some, uh, some, some grit to us, some mentality to us. We got to be able to win these, you know, these, these, these football games. And um, you know, so those guys are out there battling every play. You know, in offense, we got to be able to capitalize. No, okay. I got a lot to say here. <laughs> uh, all right. First thing is shout out to Mike Purcell. That is a great hair beard combo. I don't know where he got that idea, but that is a great. Oh, that's one. what you want. That <laughs> First of all, away. second of all, I I'll get into the rust stuff, the numbers, and the disaster for them in a moment. Yeah. But I want to relay a story to the audience. Oh, real good. Because Wild said, you know, it's like you and I after a good segment, the high five thing. Sure. Wild and I generally get along fantastically. Yeah. Get on each other's nerves a bit, but sure. in our whole time working together, I think we've only gotten in a real argument once where, like, voices were raised. Okay. And I got to tell you something. I already respected you and liked you. I gained a little respect that when I got a little out of line with Wilds, Wilds, for the first time ever, raised his voice back at me like, hey, calm down. Don't like that type of thing. I think it was a terrible look that when Purcell yelled at Russ, Russ was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, you want him to fire back? Yes! With I want what? him to yell back. I don't want him to always be, like, in character. I want him to fire back. And that is one of the many reasons the Broncos are in the worst position of any team in the league moving forward. I would rather be the Texans than the Broncos. Because the Texans at least, hey, you're going to have the number one pick of the draft. Yeah. And you're gonna, there's probably going to be a coach that wants to come in and coach that number one pick. That we, the, can we show the spot rack tweet about Russ and the Broncos? Because oh. it's not great. This is never great. This is never great. Only $105 million left on Russell Wilson's contract where the Broncos can take a $31 million dead money hit to move on from it. That's after three more years after this season. So how bad has Russell Wilson been? When I say he's been the worst quarterback in football, it's because... He's been the worst quarterback in football that has not been benched or been injured. They are the lowest scoring team in the league, Greg. The defense continues to be quite good. Yesterday was one of the worst defensive games. It was Mm -hmm. still good enough. I don't know what path forward. This is a team, Greg, that did not have back-to-back losing seasons for 47 years. From 1971 until six years ago, and now they've had six in a row. And they don't own their own picks. They're in a bad cap situation. And they have a broken quarterback. So I think it's the worst situation of any team in the league. Oof. You've made a lot of takes, and I've agreed with you on a lot of different things. I think this is the one thing that I agree with you wholeheartedly when you talk about Russell Wilson and his lack of response. He showed me everything that I don't want in my leader. You want him to fire back? Everything that I don't... It wasn't about the fact that he fi- he didn't fire back. It was like he knew everything that was being said to him. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't even live up to that right now. Even when you listen to him in his pressers, you have no faith in whatever he's saying or conveying Yikes. to us as an audience. You do not think that he truly believes that. When you hear guys talk and you hear guys that are upset and you, you get upset at me on the field, and I come and say, everything he says was right. Like, yeah. I'm... The way that I say it lets any and everyone know 
that absolutely what he said was right. Oof. I'm disturbed. Russell Wilson looks like someone who's been defeated, that lost all confidence, and that does not believe that he can get it done. And I know he would never say it because nobody ever says that. But that is what it looks like, and that is what they're experiencing. And when your teammates that are not on your side of the ball start to challenge you. So is that normal? How often does that happen? Because we see a lot of quarterbacks and wide receivers going at it. Like, oh, that's something. Or like the quarterback and maybe the offensive, offensive coordinator. Line, yeah. How often does the defense come over and talk to the quarterback? I feel like it doesn't get caught on camera. Does it it doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it's typically like, come on, man, let's go. I got you. Or it's, a, it's one, of the, one or the other of me coming to a defensive guy saying, if you didn't get it done, I got you. Oh, that'd be nice. But if the quarterback Maybe stands there, <laughs> if the quarterback stands there and I come off the field, you're the quarterback, and I say, let's go, man. Okay. Come, let's also, go make a play. And you this. stand there and you just look go like ahead. this. All right, I've got, well, I'm going to be the solution, Greg. You guys are you're complaining. you got problems. You've got problems. Only one guy here with the solution. So I have three steps to a better Broncos. Number one for Russell Wilson. Blame it on Nathaniel Hackett. It's not Russell Wilson's fault. It's Nathaniel Hackett's fault. Can I show you a graphic on what the Broncos – I mean, granted, this looks like Nick's graphic that he just showed, but it's also Nathaniel Hackett. So it's not just Russ's last. Nathaniel Hackett has a last-place offense. Passing touchdown, Nathaniel Hackett is in last place. Option number two, kind of reason number two. Bella checking in press conference. You'd like this, Greg. You don't have to say anything up there. You're not under oath. Just say – Hey, what did he say? Well, I'm keep that. I don't know. He said something about football. You don't have to say anything. You know, don't talk about talk about wristbands and Pete Carroll. Don't say anything. And finally, number three, just run the ball a little bit. This is the meat and potatoes uh, football reason. Rushing yards per carry. Josh Allen's at number one. I don't need you to be out here like you know Lamar. Marcus Mariota's nine. Derek Carr's fourteen. Man, just be better than Derek Carr. You're at seventeen. So just run a little bit more. So there you go. Blame Nathaniel Hackett. Get a new coach. Don't say anything in the press conferences and run a little bit. Next thing you know, yeah, that might help. Fifty million dollars worth it. Yeah, that might help their image <laughs> for a moment. They are. I. Th their issue is this. Everyone is going to blame Hackett. And they're going to fire Hackett. Yeah. This is the least attractive job of the half dozen or so that'll be open. You can't win the division because Mahomes is there. You can't have a. You can't. You literally can't. I mean, everybody thought this was the year. The, it doesn't matter. They, they, I don't mean to yell at you. They, 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 yell back. Don't yell at me. There you go. Oh, raise your voice to me on the middle of the second. There, 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 there we go. There you go. Don't touch me. Oh. All right. You know Stop what? laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole segment's ruined. Yeah, right. 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 Well, there you go. Which <laughs> tree you barked yeah, on? Don't you, come this way. Yeah, Stay over there. I'm sorry. I'm you took back control of the show, though. You took, there you go. You know what? what made, Wilds made some great points. I like the petition. <laughs> oh, that fell off the rails. I'm you. There's no doubt going to Dallas.